Welcome back everybody, we are back for another tutorial. In today's video we are going to design this innovative chocolate landing page. Before we start I just have a little announcement to make. From now one, all the tutorial file I'll make, I'll place them in one community file so you can all access it freely without needing me to accept your request. So you know we just start with two pages, one with a nav. Here you can see I've already prepared all the assets and I will leave it to you in the Figma file. First take your image and press P to create a vector and start masking out the front of the chocolate drop. It doesn't have to be perfect, just good enough. Now fill it and place it under two of the chocolate bars. Make a group, fix some of the errors and place it on the frame. I'll create a text and give it 280 pixels. I'm using the Atma font. Give it a dark brown color. Create a rectangle Go to the edit mode by double clicking on it and with the selection tool make three anchors points on each side. Select two opposite anchor point with the shit button press. Move them to one side and do the inverse for the bottom one. You should end up with a zigzag like shape. Now select the round button and click on each anchor point. Once you are done, change the color and set the blending option to soft light and add a layer blur effect, put it around 10. Copy the text. Make two copies of the wave. Group them, and create a mask with the top text. Group everything. And create a component set. On the second variant, move the wave to the other side. Go to prototype and link the first one with a after delay, 300 milliseconds, select smart animate and ease in and out back first. Then select custom bezier and copy my graph. Link the variant two to the one with an after delay, one millisecond in instant. Place your text on the frame and finish designing it. Let's go over the second page. Place your text first and create a rectangle, place it under it and create a mass group. Let's now design the card. Create a white rectangle with these measurements. Create another rectangle with those. Place your chocolate bar over it and give it a little bit of drop shadow. Place your text. I'll create a black line and place it under the second rectangle. You will see why later. 
create a third rectangle and give it a stroke. Place a Add to Cart text. Open the Iconify plugin, plugin that you can find and download on the plugin community of Figma. Add a plus icon. Group them in and place them under the second rectangle. Name each section and group everything. And I almost forgot, take a chocolate bar and place it under the second rectangle. You can make as many copies of it as you want. Once you are done, create a component set. On the second variant, set the opacity of the second to zero. On the first variant, select the Add to Group. Slide it a little bit down and put its opacity to zero. Go to Prototype and link the first variant to the second with a while, hovering and ease out 300 milliseconds. Now place your card on the frame and place the whole second frame inside of the first frame and make sure the nav bar is over it. Make two copies and name them. On the zero copy, drag everything out and set their opacity to zero. On the first copy, make some modifications on the second page, such as dragging the text out of its mask and sliding the cards a little bit down. On the second copy, select everything in the first frame except the nav bar and slide them up alongside with the second frame. And you can now go on prototype mode. Link the first two with an after delay, 500 milliseconds, smart, animate, and gentle. Link the last two, the on click, gentle, 2000 milliseconds, and an on drag with the same setting, and there you go.